The name comes from feeling that we thought our music is crashing you like a wave when you hear it. came together as a band. We came from different kind of music genres and stuff like that. So like George and I come from metal, metal core and stuff like that. And he's, he's not even has to do anything with metal. We thought, well, that could be a problem, but actually it was great that we came from a different kind of genres and uh, it filled up the gap, yeah. We didn't know much about his music and uh, he was uh, not so happy about double bass, but <laughs> then it was okay. <laughs> I always wanted to make a sound that does not stay at, at one certain level all the time all over the song. So it goes higher and lower and is able to express different emotions within one song. That's what our music is, it's emotions. As my first influence was, was Eve from Sweden. God is an astronaut, Caspian or 65 Days of Static. Another influence for our band was our fellow band who uh, also uh, practices here in this room, uh, Verstärker. They're a very good post-rock band from Munich. And I saw them like, I don't know, eight years ago. and. That's when it started that I love post-rock and I always wanted to make something like them. You always get new experiences and insights when you're listening to those bands. And I think they all influence us in some kind of way. It's every kind of feeling from anger, sadness, or melancholy, or whatever. So that's, as I would say, to all of these feelings, there are certain parts in, in our songs that belong to those feelings. influences our music only in a certain way. I would say it's influenced by Munich in that way that we put in things of our daily lives in, in the music. Musical perspective, yeah, there are a couple of bands from Munich that we've seen, like Verstärker or Instrument. There are not, not much bands who are doing post-rock, so if you want to play metal music in Munich, oh, go home, man, go home. Just forget it. Whether you be the best or you just go home, like, right? there's, there's so much competition that you really have to be the best, I would say. And with post rock it's not that bad because there are not many bands, but still, you have, to, you have to deliver good quality because I have the feeling people in Munich, if the quality is not good, forget it, man, just, just stay at home. Like, I think it gets you to be a better band. I think one great advantage of post-rock is it's just melody. A lot of people like post-rock music even though we wouldn't have thought so. So even if they're listening to either metal or indie stuff. It's some kind of universal. It's not uh, that you have the screaming which many people don't like. Or I was really surprised when, when I saw how many people actually like that kind of music. Like when you see the people with uh, eyes shut just moving to the song. That's just great, that's just great because you don't need no vocals and nothing. It's just the music, it's all the music. Whether the music is good and carry them on or nothing. So it's wonderful. We're writing 
writing songs right now, so we want to make something new and sound bigger. It's much more difficult for us to write new songs now since we're trying to make something really different so that one wouldn't just say, oh, it's, it's the typical wave sound again and we don't want to become boring. that we're just happy that we've met and that we're able to, to make this kind of music together since it works really good out and yeah, we love doing this. You, you keep continuing doing the stuff, you know, there's no way back, we just move forward and that's uh, probably what you take with you if you're a band from Munich, I would say.